Rivers. All righty, welcome back. Time to hit the hardwood. The season off and running for these guys. St. Francis, expectations have never been higher. The home opener tomorrow night for St. Francis. We welcome in head coach Rob Krimmel right now. Coach, it's early. Thanks for waking up with us. Thanks for having me, Casey. Appreciate it, really do. Uh, yeah, you got, you got the season started uh, earlier this week. A, uh, a trip to Buffalo, a, a good basketball team that is right there. You guys were in that game for, for much of the game. You know, uh, Buffalo kind of pulled away late. You, ha you had to like the way you guys battled, though, in the opener. Absolutely. A team that last year knocked off Arizona and messed up a lot of people's polls, I'm sure. And um, Going into the game, we knew that they had a lot coming back and a very talented team. So we, we had a tough task ahead of us, and I'm proud of the way our guys battled. Mm -hmm. you know, we played some different combinations that we probably wouldn't have done, um, and some young guys got some experience. So I, I think that you know, this group is eager to get back on the hard court, and um, I'm, I'm proud of the way that they battle. And we were talking, I mean, that's got to be, uh, for you as a coach, looking at the stretch of the season, you're going to play here in about a week or so when you have some really difficult road trips to take. Good experience for your guys against a good team early in the year, I would imagine. Absolutely, and, and to see our guys compete against you know, some of the best players and some of the best teams in the country and some of the greatest venues is something that I know they're looking forward to, but it'll let us know what we need to work on going into conference play. And, and you, uh, we, we mentioned uh, we have to, the expectations, I would say, never been higher up in Loretto, topping the NEC preseason poll again for you guys. Um, that is what it is it, from a coach's standpoint, but um, you, you got a veteran group coming back. How do you guys handle that? So uh, you, we all know where, where, we, where, we, where you're ranked in the preseason, but, but it's all going to be how you perform on the court. How do you handle that? We went through it last year. Mm -hmm. so they picked us first last year, so this group has been through a lot. Um, we got upset last year in the playoffs at home, and um, two years before that, we had done some upsetting and, and made it to the conference championship. So this group, as you mentioned, is experienced, and they've been through a lot. So we've embraced those expectations. It's made the job of the coach is a lot easier when we're having maybe a practice that's going a little bit of a different direction. We have to remind them that there's a bullseye on their back. Yeah. Our captains have done a great job. Keith Braxton, um, Jamal King, Andre Wolford, and Scott Meredith have done a, a fantastic job of keeping those guys focused on winning the day. I know it's something that's overused in sports now, but we focused on let's have a championship level practice yeah. so that when we get those opportunities to be champions, Hopefully we'll be prepared. Yeah, great way to look at it. Coach Krem, a lot more to uh, talk to him about. Tomorrow night is the home opener. It's the uh, veterans game as well. We want to talk about that a little bit. We'll do that in just a bit. First, to check a weather, though, with Christy.